Hey everyone, welcome back. So within the past two or three years, a lot of companies have ditched the traditional in-house desk jobs and switched to the trending work from home model as it gives their employees more room to breathe and be creative. And it also allows the company to hire talented people from abroad. Now, if you're in the same boat and you use RDP software to access company data, you should know that there are a lot of security risks that come with that, such as falling victim to RDP credential theft and man in the middle attacks. And that's where virtual private networks or in short VPNs come in handy as you'll be able to encrypt your data and make sure that no one on your network, not even your ISP, will get a hold of what you're doing online. So in today's video, I'll be talking about my top three VPNs for remote work, and I'll be going over what each of them brings to the table so that you can see which one works best for you. And of course, if you'd like to check out any of the VPNs I mentioned in this video, I'll leave links to pricing and discounts as well as full reviews in the description below. All right, so my first recommendation for remote work is gonna be NordVPN. And it's gonna be the best option, especially if you don't use any remote desktop software to transfer company data. And this is mainly because of this feature Nord has called MeshNet, which allows you to safely access devices remotely over the encrypted network of Nord. Basically speaking, once it's set up, it functions just like a LAN connection which links you directly to the remote device. And this makes it a great option for activities that require high speed, low latency, and advanced security, such as file sharing, active work collaborations, and even multiplayer gaming. Besides MeshNet, Nord also has a kill switch that immediately terminates your internet connection should you accidentally disconnect from the VPN server. And so by doing this, the kill switch would prevent any of your data from leaking over to your ISP or anyone snooping on your network. Oh, and as an added bonus, Nord also has an app kill switch, which functions the same way as the conventional kill switch, except it shuts down your application instead of terminating your entire internet connection. Okay, so another useful feature Nord has is gonna be the threat protection, which is basically a mini antivirus that blocks malware-ridden websites, ads, and trackers, and it will also block malicious files from being downloaded on your device. And this is great, as it can protect you from any phishing attempts aiming to steal your company data, and would ward off any type of adware you might encounter on websites. And another feature that can be quite useful and add a layer of security is gonna be the dark web monitor, which basically scans the dark web for anything related to your identity so that you can take action quickly. Now, this is not directly related to remote work, but it does help you protect your work email and phone numbers from being shared on people's search websites. Now, aside from these features, Nord also has a strict no logs policy and they operate on RAM only servers, which means that they have no way of storing or sharing your data. And this policy has been audited several times by independent firms such as Deloitte, all of which came in great standing and proved that they do uphold their policies. Besides that, Nord also has a bunch of specialty server options such as double VPN, which routes your internet connection through two servers instead of one for double the encryption, Onion over VPN servers, which are optimized for torrenting, and you can even purchase your own dedicated IP server as an add-on if you want an IP address just for you. It's also worth noting that all Nord servers will allow you to access streaming services consistently. And thanks to their huge list of over 111 countries, you can pretty much access any streaming service or library around the world. And so Nord is a great VPN option for remote work as it's a well-rounded value VPN that's extremely fast. And I especially recommend it if you don't have a remote desktop application since MeshNet makes working from home much easier and more secure. All right, now in case you do have a remote desktop application and you're looking for the most secure VPN to protect your data, my next recommendation would be ExpressVPN, which is my go-to VPN for pretty much anything. Now, similar to NordVPN, Express does have a strict no logs policy. They operate on RAM only servers and their policy has also been audited several times by independent firms such as Cure53, which means that you can trust it with your data just like NordVPN. That said, ExpressVPN has taken this a step further by being subjected to a real life stress test where the Turkish government has seized one of their servers as part of an ongoing investigation only to find nothing of use on that server since Express does not store any data. And so this incident alone made ExpressVPN the most secure VPN on the market. Now, as far as features go, ExpressVPN does have all the essentials such as the kill switch, which we've talked about earlier, as well as split tunneling, which allows you to choose which apps go through the VPN tunnel and which ones use your regular connection. For example, you can have your torrenting application use the VPN tunnel and at the same time, have your banking application use your regular connection to avoid any issue from conflicting IP addresses. That said, I wouldn't call split tunneling an essential since not a lot of intermediates and beginners use it, but once you give it a shot, you'll notice how handy it can be. Okay, so as far as protocols go, you do have a handful of them, but the most important one is gonna be the Lightway UDP protocol, as it's the fastest performing option, and it has scored Express almost the same results as NordVPN during our speed tests, except Nord was like 2% faster in some scenarios. Other than that, you also have a threat manager feature that blocks ads, trackers, and malware-ridden websites, 
and you can also use this feature as sort of a parental control tool as you have the option to block all adult websites from your connection. Now Express does not have as many bonus features such as the app kill switch and specialty servers as it deliberately stays away from features that most beginners and intermediates won't use in order to make their application as plug and play as possible. And that's one of my favorite things about Express as it feels very intuitive and it just takes me a single click to connect to the VPN and that's about it. And when it comes to specialty servers, ExpressVPN does not really need any of those since all of their 3000 servers are optimized for pretty much anything, including streaming, torrenting, and gaming. And as far as streaming goes, I've noticed that Express is the most consistent at accessing streaming services. And since they have servers in 105 countries, you won't have any trouble accessing any streaming services you might like. Also, one more thing that I really like about ExpressVPN is how fast you can connect to their servers. And just to give you an example, while most VPNs take about 10 to 15 seconds to connect to a server, Express does it in less than a second or two seconds at most. Personally speaking, I really don't like waiting, and ExpressVPN snappiness just clicks with me as it feels like part of the computer and not a third-party software. So if you're looking for the most secure VPN on the market that has all of the VPN essentials and is as plug and play as it can get, I highly recommend you go for ExpressVPN. All right, so for my final recommendation here, we have Surfshark, which is gonna be the best budget option out of the three. The thing is, despite being so affordable, Surfshark does not sacrifice security or performance to cut costs, and it even offers a bunch of bonus features like specialty servers, web protection, and an ad blocker. Aside from these features, Surfshark also has the essentials such as kill switch and the split tunneling we talked about earlier, and it also has a feature called no borders mode, which turns on automatically the second it senses any restriction on your network, and it immediately connects you to the closest obfuscated server so that none of your data or activity gets leaked. And so as you can see, Surfshark does not shy away when it comes to features. Now, although it's typically not as fast as Nord and Express, it's still really fast and outperforms most VPNs on the market. Also similar to Nord and Express, it allows you to consistently access streaming services services, and given it has 3,200 servers spread across 100 countries, you can pretty much access any content you might want from around the world. Besides that, Surfshark will allow you to secure an unlimited number of devices with one subscription, as opposed to Nord's 10 device limit, and ExpressVPN's 8 device limit. So it's basically the best option if you're looking for a fast, low budget VPN that gets the job done at the best possible cost without sacrificing security or any important features. And the cherry on top is that you can share with your friends and family. So that's pretty much it for the best VPNs for remote access. I personally would recommend NordVPN simply because it has the MeshNet feature, which will give you remote access, encrypted remote access rather, and it just makes things very convenient. But if you already have your RDP set up and you're looking for a secure VPN, you also have ExpressVPN and Surfshark, which will prove to be very good as they're super quick, reliable, convenient. They allow peer-to-peer -peer activity as well as torrenting. Besides that, they're also the most consistent at accessing region exclusive content, and they bring you all the VPN benefits. If you're specifically looking for the most secure and easiest to use of the three, I recommend you go for Express. And if you're looking for the most budget-friendly option, you can go for Surfshark. And that'll be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to use the links in the description to grab yourself the best discounts possible. And check out the full reviews as well if you want to know more about these VPNs. Besides that, like and subscribe to see more of these videos. And let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.